All right, Colorado families, this week on Community Chat, Hagen Ars PLC Truck Wreck and Brain Injury Lawyers is interviewing Chad Karstens, independent agent at Howlu Insurance. Chad is an insurance broker and is here to tell us what some of the benefits are to working with a broker who is not tied to any one particular carrier. He's also going to tell us the need for coverage that will protect you and your family in the event of the collision. And I know this all too well as a personal injury attorney. So I'm very excited to talk to Chad. I call him a friend. He's someone that you might want to talk to with regards to your insurance. And so welcome, Chad. It's great to talk to you. Hey, Caitlin. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, thanks. It's, I've had some great conversations with regards to you um, about some of the coverage that my clients need. Um, I'm trying to spread the word about the need for insurance, really good coverage to protect us, not only if we're at fault, uh, but also if we're kind of the victims of a really unfortunate collision. And so I have gotten some great insights for you. I wanted you to share it to the public. Um, and one of the first things just to start off with is your broker. That's unique. You don't work for any particular carrier. So can you tell us a little bit about what some of the benefits are going with a broker um, as opposed to a carrier? Because there's so many to choose from. People don't necessarily know which one is going to be in their best interest. And a broker might be able to set that out for them. True. Yeah, no, it is great um, being part of a broker. Um, you know, we work with about 20 different carriers. So, you know, the main thing is that gives us options. Um, if you're stuck with a captive agency, you may have one, maybe two options within that agency. And then you're kind of get stuck year to year with renewals and, you know, people don't believe that they have options. You know, insurance isn't fun. It's something that we have to have. But being part of a brokerage, you know, it gives us options. You know, each year um, I reshop and make sure that it's the best fit um, at a particular um, agent or at a particular uh, carrier. So, you know, let's say it's this year I put you with Nationwide, you know, and then the renewal comes around and their rate is so high, I can shop you with all of our other carriers to make sure, you know, we're still within that reasonable rate. Great. And then so when you're sitting down with someone and you're trying to figure out what the best coverage is for them, um, a lot of people overlook what they need for their family if they're in a collision. And I've known all too well, representing catastrophically injured people, that there's just not enough coverage to go around if something really bad happens. And so I wanted you to chat with us about some of those coverages you're trying to talk to your insurance about that they need, particularly uninsured and underinsured motorist protection and medical payments. A lot of people don't know what that is. So let's just start there. Let's start at the fundamentals. What is those types of coverage? Um, how can it benefit? What are kind of the things that you're talking to uh, people about? And frankly, is it a lot more expensive to have it or is it a no-brainer just to get? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So the uninsured, uninsured motorist, um, that protects us as drivers. So if somebody were to hit us, um, statistically speaking, um, the average for Colorado uh, for uninsured or uninsured motorists is about 30%. So think about that 30% of drivers on the road, either underinsured or they don't have insurance. Mm -hmm. If they were to hit you, that is the coverage that covers your medical expenses. Um, and then the medical pay kind of falls into that as well. You know, you will get um, it ranges from 5000 to 25000 to help pay for those medical bills. Um, if you were to injured or if you were to injure somebody, that goes to them as well. And some other benefits that have really saved me and my clients in some cases is the fact that uh, this underinsured motorist and medical payments follows the person, not necessarily the car. Yep. So I've had clients that have been pedestrians, uh, mm -hmm. passengers in other people's vehicles. Yep. They've all gotten the benefit of their underinsured motorist. And so it's yep. been fantastic to have. Now, uh, too, fortunately, I have the worst case scenarios. Right. Where, in fact, I have a catastrophically injured family, and unfortunately, that driver is uninsured or has their minimum in Colorado, which is $25,000. Yep. Um, so we're trying to spread the word now that it's very necessary to have. Now, the first thing people may say is, oh, you know, should I risk it? Is it just too expensive to have? Can you give some feedback as to how much extra it really is to to add, and I know it'll vary from carrier to carrier, but in sure. reality, is it much more? You know, I kind of equate it to, you know, more or less getting a cup of coffee each week. You know, that can range from five to seven dollars, you know, a week, depending on where you like to go. So that 200 to 400 dollars a year will 
essentially cover you for that uninsured, underinsured motorist, you know, make sure that you're properly covered. So that's kind of how I relay it. You know, everybody likes the Starbucks coffee, the Dutch brothers coffee, you know, that, Hey, just give that up one or two a week and you will be, you know, at least have proper coverage. And what's great about this coverage is it's a premium. So by using it, right. you're not penalized in any way. Exactly. Um, and also it's per incident. So, you know, God forbid something else happens um, over the course of the year, new med pay, new uninsured motorist. So yep. it's a great thing to have. Um, is there any other things that you're looking for when, when you're sitting down and talking to someone about some coverages that you just want to make sure that they have uh, to be totally inclusive um, so that they have everything that's necessary when they're on the roadways? You know, on top of an auto policy, I always look at the umbrella policy, you know, that covers home, auto, and umbrella, you know, and especially for teenage drivers, you know, we've all been there and, you know, we all have made mistakes and, you know, that'll help cover if there is a bad accident on that end as well. Um, but I also, you know, I talk with them and say, hey, you know, if you want these lower coverages and there is a bad accident, you know, you may not have a lot of stuff now, but it'll go after your future assets. You know, the courts mm -hmm. can always decide that, you know, you have to pay X amount of dollars for the next 30 years. So, you yeah. know, is that something worthy, you know, to risk? Great. And if someone's very interested in just talking to you, wondering, do I have a good coverage plan? Do you do any kind of review? Um, oh, of for sure. So yep. So... What, what I usually do, yeah, usually I get their, ask for their current declaration pages. Um, that is either, you know, has a breakdown of what their coverage is for home and auto. And I look through it and, you know, if there's any holes within it or, you know, improvements that need to happen, you know, I have my recommendation, let them know. And then, you know, we kind of set up a follow-up, you know, if they go back to their agent or, you know, at that time, you know, they, they may say that my agent never talked to me about this, you know, so it gives me an opportunity to kind of get that business um, as well. Fantastic. Well, it's end of year. Um, we have a lot of families um, that are sending um, uh, their children off to college, leaving town. They want to make sure everything is good to go as they take off uh, with regards to their vehicles and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people are going to want to make sure that their kids are covered um, and may be looking to get this reviewed. Um, and so if they want to contact you to get one of those free reviews, um, how, how can they get in contact with you? You know, uh, you can give me a call at 303-245-2114, extension 777, or you can just email me, um, chad at halu, that's H-A-L-U, insurance.com. Fantastic. And I'll put all that information in the show notes. I really appreciate you, Chad, I really appreciate you just giving your insights on kind of the insurance that we need and also distinguishing why a broker may be different uh, than going with a specific carrier. So thank you so much uh, for being on the community chat and sharing your knowledge with us. And then um, one more thing is if there's any questions, they can always check out the HALU um, webpage. It's okay. very interactive um, with each different umbrella, auto, and home. It'll have little spots, highlight, and what coverage it needs and is, you know, uh, important for them. So that's a perfect resource to have. So thank you so much. And we'll also include a link to that. Thank you, Chad, for everything I'm sharing with you. Um, thank we'll you so much. So everyone can reach you. Thank you. Thank you.